Hello, Biological Anthropology 141L students. Here it is, the week of the 22nd. Uh, what we're going to discuss right now is what we're going to be doing this week in lab for both Tuesday and Thursday. This section is about skeletal anatomy. Before we can go any further into the Cenozoic and really discuss, you know, how primates are evolving on our way to us, we need to have some skeletal anatomy. That's where we're going to see the changes, at, and more specifically, right in the fossil record. So if I'm going to be talking about that in the future, or going to be seeing literature on that in the future, you need to be able to get yourself around the skeleton. All right. So here's what I have planned for you. There'll be a link below that says Introduction to the Skeleton and Exercises. Uh, that PDF link uh, goes into a laboratory workbook uh, section. Um, and what I want you to do is read that PDF and do the exercise. And it's all the questions and all the exercises. And some of these questions are going to ask, they're going to start out with, you know, look at the instructor provided material or the material at the end of the chapter. I don't obviously have a lab here, so you have to look at the photographs at the end of the chapter to be able to do these labs. OK, so do that. Additionally, if you need any more visual images, you know, since you're online, you've got Google right there. So you can pretty much bring up any bone from any angle that you want. All right. Next. What I want you to do is take the information, the, the answers to your questions, um, as well as how you're completing these exercises, what they ask for, and place this in your laboratory notebook. And that I will collect at some time at the end of the semester. We'll figure out how to you know, get them into some box for you to get all that material in. Um, and that way I can give you a grade for all this stuff, right? Now, lastly, um, when you're working on the skeleton, it might be a good idea for some of you and, and many of you, if you can get a skeletal app, um, you know, they make these and just type in skeleton app um, and Google Play has any numbers of dozens of these out there. And you could try various ones to figure out which ones work best for you. But a great way to handily look up stuff or keep it at your fingertip. Um, I know one and I'll put a link to it. So you'll see the PDF about the exercises and a suggested link to look at the one that I actually like a lot. So um, uh, there you go. Now, next week, we're also going to continue on skeletal anatomy, but it'll be more advanced. We'll be start working on the bones themselves, you know, learning the bones of the skeleton. Um, so um, if you want to try to get ahead of that um, and start memorizing the bones of the skeleton, do that. Uh, with that known, we're not going to go through every single bone. And what I mean is this, is that, you know, the very small bones of the body, the ones in the wrist and the individual vertebrae, the names of those, we, we're not going to, we're not going to have time for that. And, and I don't think you want to put yourself through that. But right now, I want you to think about bone categories. How many bones are there? You know, which part of the body are there? Um, so if you can get a good overall idea of where all the bones are placed and how many of them there are, um, that'll get you well on the road to doing really well on the material for next week. Okay, so at this point, if you have any questions on this, again, just hit me up with the emails. I mean, I really wish I could be there in lab with you, but we're pretty much all shut down for this. Um, get to work on that workbook, okay? Make sure uh, you get it in that laboratory notebook of yours. That that's your goal. That that's your grade for the class right now, um, as well as um, you know the timeline. I'm looking forward to those to getting those at some point, whether I can collect them in person or whether we have to take photocopies and send them in in pieces. You know either which way that works for you, uh, we'll get them in by the end of the semester. All right. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.